the immovable object of Ohio State meets the irresistible force of Penn State. One of the defining games of the 1997 college football season, the Ohio State Buckeyes and the Penn State Nittany Lions. They may stretch the seams of Beaver Stadium some today to get the crowd in the house for this matchup of undefeated Big Ten teams. Penn State comes in number two in the nation, Ohio State number seven. Hello and again, everybody. The nice surprises about this young football season is the play of Penn State quarterback Mike McQuarrie. He's a fifth-year senior, never started before this year. He's second in the nation in total offense and, and passing. But he goes up today against today. He goes against a team that is really good at testing. Ohio State brings in the number one pass defense in the country. Andy Katzenmoyer, their middle linebacker, is one of the outstanding players around. So he's going to be tested today. Last week against Iowa, Ohio State shut him down. Iowa was ranked number one in the nation in offense. Today, they're going against an all a Penn State team that's ranked number two. It'll be a great matchup today. And the Lions come thundering into the arena. And we'll get it underway in a moment. Balls here at Penn State. We're ready to play football as Ohio State won the toss, deferred to the second half, and Penn State gets it offensively with Chris Eberle spinning away from one tackle, but then being taken down short of the line of scrimmage. The Chile starting lineup now for Ohio State along the offensive front. Eric Goldston at center. He's the bell cow. He's played three different positions in his career. Two sophomores and a junior finished the group. In the receiving core, David Boston, the big target. And uh, I'm sorry, I'm mixed up here. It's the Penn State. I should be talking about Joe Juravicia, 6'5", 230. And uh, he thinks he's Superman sometimes. We'll see if they go to him early on. Jurevicius is number 83. Number 39 is Curtis Enos. He has a huge hole up the middle of the defensive front as he crosses the 30 and goes out to the 32-yard line. So let me finish the offensive front here for uh, Penn State. Ostrowski is the leader there. Jurevicius, number 83, the big receiver for them. Uh, Chappy Fields is the other man who's emerged in the receiving court. And then there is Joe Nastassi, who is available and very good. So today, the feeling is that Mike McCreary may have to do something with his short game, but not if the running game operates like that much all day. They go back to Curtis Enos again. He gets away from one tackler around the corner. Aaron Harris uh, threw the block for him that got him over there, and uh, so we're in business. They're looking at Harris and Enos, the running back, Harris is a big guy at 226 pounds. Enos is bigger himself. The defense for Ohio State, the linebackers are led by Captain Moyer, with Johnson and Rudzinski flanking him, and they are very good. In the secondary for the Buckeyes, it's Winfield, the man that Penn State coaches talk about a lot, but there's a lot of talent back there, albeit young. So it is now second down and two for Penn State. Jurevicius, the man in motion, he's on a streak down the field, and they let it go to the sideline for Chaffee Fields, and it's overthrown incomplete. He was covered by Ahmed Palmer. Jurevicius had cut it back and gone straight down the middle of the field. What we had, Keith, three plays, and they've already tried one down the field. McQuarrie is not shy about throwing the ball deep. And two. Ball is handed away to Curtis Enos. Enos flashes in close to a first down. He needed to get the ball on the campus here in coaching, and they are just short. He's a giant. Enos and Harris, quarterback Nick. He need, needed about a foot, and it would appear that he has it. <laughs> and it's as if Joe said, the heck with it. If we can't make a foot and a half, we don't deserve to beat this team. Let's go for it. Pioli is the man in motion, a tight end. They roll it the other way and throw underneath it, and the pass is caught by Cruncho Brown. So Cruncho Brown is seen it. And Curtis muscling early in the ball game. Damon he knew where I was going with it. He said he would have been a great one. Third and one. And they call it in the middle with Harris. Here 
Vicious going towards the top. That'll put him up there with Field. So they're both up there. But this time, they go on the ground with it. The penalty flag is thrown as uh, Andy Captain Moyer face mask five yard penalty against Ohio at the 25. McQuarrie steps up to throw and feels in the end zone. Incomplete overthrown. Again, he had a receiver open. Teddy Drew is the man in motion. Ball is thrown to Harris. He's got the first down. He's taken down at the 17-yard line. Captain Moyer, the second is in motion. McQuarrie getting some pressure, turns up field. He's got Fioli in front of him to block and goes down to the five-yard line. Kevin Johnson playing the best strong arm. Not necessarily very agile and can run. You want somebody that can make good decisions. Everybody was covered. There was running room. He saw it, recognized it, and picked up a first down. center. He's played three different positions. Two sophomores, a junior in the group. David Boston, the big target among the receivers. D. Miller, better than advertised. And the tight end, John Lumpkin, playing with a sore ankle. In the backfield, Stanley Jackson starts as quarterback. Howard Swift, Joe Joe back. Pearson. Pepe found the hole in the middle, too, but he didn't get through it with the same acceleration that Enos did a while ago. The defense for Penn State, Matt Fornato, only 246 pounds at tackle, but like all of them, he's very quick and relentless. The linebackers, they don't call this linebacker you for nothing. Three of them are very, very good. They're all hat painters. The defensive secondary, tallest man back here, is Jason Collins at 5'11", but they climb, claw, and if necessary, they'll punch you right from over. Here's a little option action here. Pearson loses the ball, and... Ohio State may have lost the ball. Penn State recovers around the 20. They've had some fumbles. The guy that makes the play is Courtney Brown, number 86. This is an option. Penn State was concerned about this play. The option, second play of the game. They come with it. And for Nato, number 99, looks like... Let's see if McCreary goes to the end zone on the first play. He's looking at it. He goes underneath to Harris. Harris spinning, gets away from one, two. Big play by Aaron Harris. He's inside the 10. Ocean puts him Drew Vincent over there. Hand it inside to the big man, Enos. And Curtis. He has an offense. I like that, Keith. He knows who he is, doesn't he? Ball is thrown out of the end zone. That's incomplete. Well, he's complaining that Winfield was all over. Jura Bishop, number 83, the man who at 6'5", who went up and got it. But not if he stayed on the field to play, he couldn't. Winfield had to grab it with a little bit of his jersey. Great effort to catch the football, but it was way out of bounds. Travis Forney is on the field, number 14. He's 5'9", 162-pounder, a 23-yard field goal try. Has great acceleration in the kicking leg and he knocks it right through the middle of the upright and at 8 36 to go for down 32 yard line for the Buckeyes Stanley Jackson back to throw it lets it go he's got a man it's Dean Miller and Miller is taken down at the 23 yard line of Penn State Jackson back looking to throw again runs away from the pressure and gets down to the 20 and Jackson with a hole in the middle, runs again and fights his way down to about the quarterback coach. So there's some new coaches offensively. 
Ball is handed to Pappy Pearson, and Pearson is decked by Courtney Brown, who's Look having around. a... See what they're doing. They're looking at 14 to go, though. The ball is thrown to the left side to David Boston. Boston will apply. Good. At 4.48 now to go in the first quarter, Ohio State, after they fumbled the ball, they gave up defense, stopped them first, and then they got back and got three points. The kickoff by the Buckeyes is not too deep. It is Everly coming up to the six-yard line, picking it up, and he's got room up the middle. Chris Everly with a big return for Penn State all the way to the 40-yard line. A query throws, and it is incomplete. Off the hands of Chappie Field. The defense to play tight end, which is a little too much people. Very well. McQuarrie setting up the screen. The ball is slapped away and it is incomplete. And there's a penalty flag. Illegal first down. From the 38, Jackson. Up the middle he goes. He gives Ben with that much room. I wouldn't want to be up against any one of those. Another out. Everly waits. Pretty good. Coming sideways. Oh, can the you believe that? One yard line. Unbelievable. An Unbelievable. incredible block. 53 yards. It goes straight <laughs> left and out of bounds at the Penn State <laughs> one. It's not a baseball. It doesn't go straight. They're no more than a foot away from the goal line, and they hand it inside to Aaron Hunt. McQuarrie out of the end zone. Ball is caught at the six by Scioli, the tight end. Ohio State's going to get some pretty good field position. Here's a rollout for the quarterback. And he's down. He won't go anywhere as Andy Captain Moore. This is a little better. It's a rocket. Boston lets it go, and it goes out of bounds at the 30. Wow. 62-yard punt out of the end zone by Mr. Pigeon. Yep, two outstanding punters. Pigeon says, all right, Bartholomew, you put us on our own two-yard line. I'm sending you back to your own uh, territory. He was the MVP of the Rose Bowl win last year. Gives the ball to Pearson. And Pearson is taken down. Let him play. Pass is completed to Dean Miller. And Miller is second. And Jermaine looks for Boston. Throws it. He's got it. First down. 45-yard line. It's blocking. Jermaine takes off and will pick up another Ohio State first down. They didn't get a very liberal mark, I believe. Joe Jermaine's first series. Into the corner of the end zone. most improved receivers on that ball club, too. This is Curtis Phoenix trying to get around the corner, and he does. Look at the power of the man. First down, Penn State. He does again. You're not going to arm tackle this man. He is from you. He knows when he's got you off balance. Query. Pass away, and it is caught by Jerry Bishop. On the far side at the 21-yard, 26-yard line. That's a battle right there. Winfield couldn't handle him that time. Winfield against Juravich. Winfield is going to be following him all day, like, like Springs did. He turns him around. A great move by somebody who is 6'5", as Juravich is. We'll be watching this too all day. Make it a first down at the 25. That's his first catch of the day. He only caught one ball last year. And Harris is inside the pen. Barely eligible, and then he sprained an ankle, and then he uh, lost his father to a, an illness, a little serious illness, and they just buried him on Thursday. Quick pass to the end zone. Touchdown, Nastasi. 
Nastasi lined up wide. They left him alone. He has not seen the ball all day. McCreary stood up and popped him. And it's six. There's nobody lined up over him. There was and so Penn State comes banging right back to untie the game and regain the lead at 17 to 10. Seven plays, 72 yards. The tailback now for Ohio State. Jermaine stays in at quarterback. They give it to the up man, uh, Keller. And Keller turns in a good run. In the club. 32 yard line, first down. Jermaine's pass to the sideline. He's incomplete, thrown high. David Boston couldn't reel it in, especially if it were down a little bit, Keith, uh, this would have been a completion. It's just a high throw. He had a little heat from Chris Snyder. A little quicker with it this time. There's room out there for Wisniewski, the tight end. Third down and one. And there's one and more from Michael Wiley. And Wiley keeps on turning, keeps on running. Jermaine steps away from pressure and steps right into trouble. Wiley. Jermaine's pass tripped into the sideline to Boston. He's at two to get it off just in time. Pass, Boston, caught first down. At the Penn State, 17 yards. Feel the more power they're getting up front. Ryan show blitz, pull it back, and Wiley goes for the first down. It's Wiley bouncing to the outside. Don't think he made it. Has made a 27-yarder. This one is from 25, and it's good. So at 2.59 to play in the first half. He the, the linebackers, not the line. The query rolls out. He gets it away down the middle for Jared Mitra. He's got it. Now he does not have it. He did not hold it when he came down. Jared Mitra is in a fight with Winfield. Winfield. Now he's got single coverage. He comes out of the face. Now he looks at him. I'm taking 6'5 against 5'8 right here. Eight inches. Look at Winfield get up, battle, and knock the ball. That's a 5'8 against a 6'5 guy. Right about there is where he lost it. Just oh, I think he down. had it. He, he had it coming like down. He had it coming down. He, he had it when he hit the... Yeah. There's another rainmaker. Down at the 12-yard line. No fair catch by David Boston. 40 seconds. He might as well put it up now. Jermaine's going to. Gets it away down the middle. And there's the tight end, Steve Wisniewski, for the quarterback. Stands in the pocket that long. Boston with this catch. And they'll give him. And they've got great speed to the outside. And they've been getting good protection. The pass is away. The pass is completed to D. Miller. That stops him way down to the bottom of the picture now. He's a running back, and he's going deep. They go the other way to Boston. They've got a first down out of it. Down his line. Take a shot over here on our side. Bottom of the screen. They get it to Keller, and Keller gets it out of bounds down around the 10-yard line. The pull within one. It's away. So all of that is wasted as the field goal sails wide. And at halftime, your score will be Penn State 17, Ohio State 13. Well, Everything both sides to play well, and they have. And we're interested to see who Cooper sends out to quarterback the first drive of the second half. The kickoff to Ohio State to start the second half of play well into the end zone and we'll take a look at some of the halftime numbers the numbers that jump out ohio state 204 yards passing and then total yardage they almost have 100 yards more than ohio than uh, penn state does and that one turnover early in the game actually it was on the first drive by ohio state led to a field goal joe germain has come out at quarterback to start the second half of play guys go with germain and pearson the deep back Jermaine throws on the first play to the tight end Lumpkin. Sore ankle and all picks up the first down. Now Miller comes this way, putting both the wideouts on the same side of the ball. It's thrown to Miller. And he 
drift to about the 43 before he is passes away put up the ground and Boston stumbling as he was running down the field with Prater and falling down and the pass sails away incomplete four wide out out of the shotgun hit as he throws it's intercepted on the Ohio State 46-yard line by Brandon Short. And a big opportunity now for Penn State. They come to the ball at first down on the 46-yard line. And it away to Harris. And Harris trying to get around the corner does some. Time to go back to Drew Abyss. They go to Enos. Go for a first down. First down for the line. From the 36. Very handsome. They may have it. They do. Jim Bell is on it. They're on 37. First down. And this is Pepe Pearson being caught and nailed behind the line of scrimmage. Doing really well. Remains pass is drilled to D. Miller. Miller's right on the three. Well, it was third and one, Bob. It's now third and six out. Big difference. They run it with Pearson. He won't get it. He took a dive at it, but he's going to be a yard short. Here comes the with D. Miller. Miller gets everything out of it possible. And now, fresh legs in the backfield. Well, he's got it. Throws! It is caught! Steve Wisniewski down at the one-yard line. No flags, first and goal. Derek Fox saved the touchdown for Penn State. Jermaine throws to the end zone. Touchdown, Boston! State takes the lead, and Stokes kicks it to the end zone, three yards deep, four yards maybe. Everly coming out with it, found some daylight, gets across the twenty. We're going. He's tough. He's all the way out to the thirty-seven yard line, and that might wake up. All passes on first down. You just you can't take it yet. inside. Enos. Here comes another Penn State offensive surge. Just good blocking up front. 51 was Cole, Ostrowski, Conlon in that front line. It's a good kid. This Curtis Enos talking to him yesterday. Both wide receivers now to the field side. Pressure coming. The Curtis passes away and it is incomplete. He was looking for Jura Vicious and he missed him. Weary back. No pressure. His pass is away and it is incomplete. They won't pass interference, but they don't get it. Gary Berry hooked Jura Vicious as he was reaching for the ball and fourth on third down and five. Passes away. He's got him. Kenyon Rambo. First down, Ohio State at the 45-yard line. Ball on the snap. He's going to throw it again. And he goes quickly at the ball. And you got a signal with him. I, I like it being signaled. In. Second down and two. He has a quick one down the middle. Pass caught by Miller. Big day for D. Miller. Throwing again. Down he goes. Hit by Chris Snyder. Snyder broke free. I don't think anybody really. This, this is dangerous. If Jermaine doesn't see him coming, he could have knocked that ball loose. And call it 15. Pepe Pearson. He ran away from the slot. His body that defense. Underneath to Pearson. Pepe Pearson to the eight-yard line. That's the first down. First and goal, Ohio State. Pearson in traffic. Touchdown. Pepe Pearson from eight yards.
Pressure back on Mr. McQuarrie and company. This is Curtis Enos finding daylight and dragged down by Gary Berry. Fresh. He says, be sure you keep him fresh in the fourth quarter. McQuarrie's pass caught by Juravicious. A falling catch at the 49-yard line. Harris. Aaron Harris running very well in pocket. May go. Touchdown, Penn State. No flag. Just a spectacular effort by Aaron Harris. One yard. Offense. Straight blocking. Captain Moyer gets pushed aside by Conlon. Barry, number one, poor tackling. Something keeps when you get up by ten points in a nice close game. They just they didn't tackle. Captain Moyer got himself run out of the play. I think that was Garnett. And then Barry. One team thought it was over, the other says we got to get out there and get some points, and they did. Jermaine hands it off to Matt Keller, and they eat him up in that middle linebacker for Penn State. Joe Jermaine getting pressure is set back at the 20-yard line by Brendan Short. Number 43, right in the center of your picture, Gilbert, number 64, lets him go. He had a choice of picking up one of two men. You always pick up the closest and most dangerous and let the other one go. It was actually Snyder who beat him to the point. Coming again. Nelson after him. Jermaine completes the pass to Boston. Boston got loose for a moment and got all the way. Shadows across the field. Penn State's Mike McQuarry to the huddle now with his teammates. They trail by three points at home to Ohio State. They have the ball first down at their own 14-yard line. McQuarrie to throw it. Gets it off. Pass is completed to Scioli, the tight end. First down at the 32. A quarterback in high school. He had knee surgery last year and came back as a tight end. Boy, that's good concentration. Yes. Woof, they involved him. Yeah. First down and 15. This is Curtis Eater. That's a first down and then top. The defense. Look for 64 it. here. Watch what he does. He blocked up two of them and got him around the corner. Enos now 15 carries, 121 yards, and looking for more. Heads on second down and eight. McQuarrie back, has a lot of time. And throws complete to Punto Brown, the tight end. He threw a bullet, and it just froze the Ohio. Aaron Harris is back in the backfield with Enos. McQuarrie throws again. It's Juravicius to the sideline. He is the best linebacker. Joe Paul doesn't do that. On second and one, McCurry wants to go back. Took it away from him. That's a great... Slapped it out of his yeah. hands, did he? Yes, he did. Chafee Fields was under it. Ahmed Plummer up, has it in his hands, and Fields goes over the top and took it away from him. How about that? Oh, that's great camera work, guys. That grew in motion. And it's uh, Enos. And he's gone. Touchdown. Aaron Harris threw the block that spun him. Here's Katzen Moyer, one of your better linebackers in the country. Ostrowski 64 is going to come around, and let's look at what happens when they meet. Right there. That opens up the hole. Right in here. Curtis Enos has not carried the ball in the fourth quarter all year long. People have been saying, what's wrong with his average? He's only averaging 89 yards a game. On the left, that's Lincoln Enos, the father. Right 
now he's feeling a whole lot better about things. But here comes Ohio State. And the pass from Joe Germain. First down for the Buckeyes. A little delay to Michael Wiley. Wiley will not get to the line of scrimmage as Jim Nelson. That's the stats and their numbers. Pressure coming. Jermaine's pass is completed to Boston, and he's got a first down. Every much time something happens, there's a surge, and here's Jermaine running away from the traffic. There's a penalty flag thrown. That may be a foul on the Buckeye. Again, pulling away a little early. It's a holding call. Oh, it's done by a little more time. To the sideline, to Boston. Boston is down. That's intercepted. Intercepted by Sean Lee, and it wasn't hard. Jermaine and the receiver didn't hook up at all. He was... The receiver was knocked off his right. Little pressure, got a blitz on. Look at the top of your screen. He expected Germany to go around uh, Collins, number eight. And instead, he went underneath. If he would have gone around, he would have been in position at least to knock the ball down. Penn State gets it back at their own 17-yard line, and they give it to who else? Curtis Enos. And he is wrestled out. Up front, here they come. They hit the prairie is incomplete and the intended receiver is decked hard you're vicious and McCreary is shaken up and still having trouble getting his focus blitz cats and Boyer coming up the middle a free shot Mike McCreary said he's looking forward to getting hit by the big cats but uh, he already got hit a couple times you don't want to hit this one Boston is waiting Low kick. Boston is run down just as he catches the ball. All right, it's second down, and Boston is back. And Boston gets the ball. Very quick. Jermaine gets it away. It is caught on the ricochet by Dean Miller, isn't it? No. no. Oh, they said it was on the ground, I guess. Germany, it's, this, this, this is going to be close. Somebody's he in the wrong place. He overthrows the slot man. Yeah, it touched yeah. the ground. It touched, it the, touched ground. the ground. Nice call by the official. In the Big Ten series between these two, there have been some great players take part. We're playing on Sunday now. And they've played some of them in games just like we're having today. One of them that's going to be playing on Sunday one of these days is this fellow, Curtis Enos, who's rolled up big numbers today. And Mike McCreary is back at quarterback for Penn State. And so is Juravicious. Both were shaken up when they left the field the last time. Clarak play tight end. Keith right here. Schioli watches. He's going to come in here. I think it's going to be Katzenmoyer right there. The Number five, that's a quarterback turned tight end. <laughs> I love it. That was 27 yards. He's got 170 the lead in the third quarter. Led by 10 at one time, but the Lions have come back to regain the lead, and that ball is thrown to Jerry Baker. To the sideline, take a strong arm to do that. 15 pressure, Buckeye defense. Mm -hmm. Give the ball to Chappie Field. He's out there, got away from one. From the other, and there's a way to play. And State ball. They lead 31 27. Third and 17. Otherwise, Ohio State gets the ball back. Ball is thrown to Jerry Bishop. And he is in success. Here it goes. High hanger. They may kill it deep and they do. At the four-yard line by Ascari Adams. It's a nice play and good coaching. He's the he's the uh, the flyer on the outside. He gets by two Ohio State guys, finds the ball. He's the backup safety and makes an outstanding play on it. That's just just that's just 
It goes all the way back to Paterno. Four-yard line. Jermaine at quarterback. Out of the end zone. Gets the pass away. It is thrown underneath to Keller. Keller turns it up field and gets him some down. Starting to come up a little bit. Trying to help the defense. Pass is in control. It is caught on the ricochet by Dean Miller. Flynn did everything he could do except catch the ball. And uh, there was Miller flat on his back catching it as it fell. Macklin almost made a play. The man on a rollout. Passes away. The pass is complete. The pass is dropped. The man gets it away. It's Miller. He can't get it. Defended by David Macklin. Second year sophomore. He played some as a true freshman last year. Miller is having a big day. The ball is there. He should have had it. Oh, yeah. As good as he's played today, he could have had that ball. Pokes it away from him. Yeah. Intended for Miller again, if not ten, at least some. They don't get it. I think his arm was hit. Was it was hit? Chris Snyder tipped his arm as he threw the ball. Get it away on three. Jermaine rolling out, gets it away, and it is incomplete. Bangs off the shoulder pad of Kenyon Rambo. They got momentum, boy. I tell you, it's like a 18 wheeler going downhill. It's Curtis Enos, and he's going again. He's got tiebreaker. Yeah. <laughs> Penn State finishes the season up at Michigan State, November 29. But they play Michigan here, and Curtis Enos. This sets up Penn State as a, as a favorite. And Cleary takes the knee. <laughs> they got all the points they need. 29 seconds counting, 28. So what a ball game we had, huh? The Chevrolet most valuable players are D. Miller from Ohio State, eight catches 149 yards and a touchdown. Curtis Enos from Penn State, 23 carries, 211 yards and a touchdown. Chevrolet donating $1,000 to each school's general scholarship fund. A Chevy tradition for more than a quarter of a century. Okay, the Lions come in number two in the nation, Bob. Ohio State comes in number seven. You'd, if Florida loses, maybe. If Florida loses, they would get the vote. I mean, they would get the vote for number no one. No question. If Florida number one. does not lose, I doubt very much they will move to number one. I don't, I don't think they will. I will be close. But it'll be close. So, it is Penn State winning their first real test of the season by a final score of 31 to 27. <laughs>